everybody. Welcome to 20 Minute Hit. Julie Miller here from Premier Fitness. I got your 20 minute express workout. We do five minutes of a quick warm up. We'll do our 20 minutes and then we'll do a five minute quick cool down. Get in and out, get this workout done and over with. Before we start, I would like to introduce you to myself, Julie Miller, once again from Premier Fitness. And I would like to invite you to like the Asheville County Medical Center on Facebook. So Asheville County Medical Center, Facebook, give us a like, then you'll be notified anytime we go live with any of our classes or any of our events. We do walk with a doc, which was very successful this past week. We have lunch and learns. We talk to some various health professionals about special things that people have interests in. So make sure you tune in for those. So to get started, for 20 minute hit, let's get you warmed up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stand here, we're gonna inhale our arms overhead. So we're doing a half jack, jumping right into it, let's get the blood moving. So right off the bat, my core is nice and tight. My shoulders are relaxed. Good, three more, two, last one, and drop it down. Arms out to a T, feet are nice and wide, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna twist from side to side with control. No real seesawing action here. I want you to keep your core tight, and we're twisting very carefully. Know your limitations when it comes to these twisting moves. But the more you do them, the more strength you will retain, and the less pain you may have. One more to this side as well, and drop it down. Turn those toes out, we're gonna squat and bring that knee up. Squat, other knee. So it's a squat and a chamber kick. Squat and a chamber kick. You'll see this move in the workout. Squat, chamber kick. The chamber, down, up, down, up. One more each side. Last one right here. Nice work. All right, keep those two fingers. Put them in those hip creases. We're gonna bend forward from those waists, from those hips, and right up. If you want more work with this move, take those hands and place them behind your ears. Causes a little more resistance on the way down and up. Just make sure your back is nice and straight. You only go down as far as the backs of your legs will let you go. My hamstrings are a little tight today, so I can't go down as far as I usually may be able to do. Three more. Two. One more. Nice job. All right. I forgot to mention to grab some water and some comfy clothes. I'm going to use weights for this workout. Weights are not necessary. You do not need them to do hit. I just like to use weights with hit. Since I don't do a lot of jumping moves, I don't really, my feet really don't leave the floor too much when I do hit. So I like to use weights when I do a lower impact hit. I'm not much of a fan of jumping around with weights in my hands unless they're really, really close to my body. Even then I'm a little nervous but it just causes extra stress and strain. Your body's trying to compensate for the extra weight, and it's just, it could not, it could not be, not a good thing. So let's run through these five exercises real quick. The first one is going to be a butt kicker with a punch down. So I'm going to be butt kicking my legs like this. As my legs are butt kicking, I'm going to be punching down with the opposite arm, okay? So we're gonna do 40 seconds of this. Then we're gonna have a 20 second rest. The second move is going to be a side tap, alternating legs, side tap, and those arms go up all at the same time. So it's kind of like a star movement, back and forth, 20, I'm sorry, 40 seconds of this, 20 second rest. Exercise three is going to be a squat and a press. So I'm going to have the weights in my hand, I'm going to squat down, and I'm going to press up and push my arms overhead. Now if you have shoulder issues, do not use weight with this, but if your shoulders are healthy, Go ahead and do the overhead press. If you have the weight and you don't want to do the overhead press, then just do the squat. Just rest those weights on your shoulders. 
40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Fourth exercise is going to be a side to side windmill. So I'm going to step out. My arms will be out to a T, and I'm going to bend over to the side, bring everything back together, step out to the other side. So if you can kind of see my arms, kind of make a windmill motion. And my foot that's stepping out is going to be pointing in the direction that I'm stepping. So if you imagine like an Egyptian stance, if you ever imagine Egyptian pharaoh standing with those hieroglyphics, that's what you're looking for. Exercise five is going to be a chamber punch. So in the beginning, we did those chamber kicks. We're going to be back and forth kicking, or we'll be punching with those other arms. Got it? All right, so we're all warmed up. We know the moves. Grab some water. You have a second or so. Grab some weights if you choose. I'm going to queue up my timer guy here. There it is. All right, let's get started. First move is that butt kicker with that punch down. So I've got my Three, weights. Two, Ready? One, so go. butt kick, punching down with that opposite arm. If this feels wonky, then do same arm. Wherever coordination you're at, just take that. Good. Your core is nice and tight. Back and forth with control. Nice. Perfect. Keep breathing. Keep tension in your arms. If you have weights, try not to hyperextend your elbow. Good. Rest. Go ahead and rest. Let me turn up the volume on this guy so you guys can hear me a little better. Perfect. 20 second rest. Next move. It's going to be a side tap. Bring those arms up. So I've got my weights in an overhand grab if you have weight. Go. Tap it out off to this side. So my arms are only going as high as my shoulders. I'm trying to keep my hips in alignment, keep everything at the hips in one place. Try to keep your center of gravity over that foot that's on the floor underneath you. Good. Keeping that core tight, especially if you're working with weight. Keep that core nice and tight, supports your back. All right, we have about five seconds. Keep pushing through, you got this. Rest. <sighs> nice job, all right. Keep those shoulders to roll. Wow. All right, so for this next one, the squat and press. I'm gonna have the weight right at my shoulders, my palms facing each other. My feet are a little wider than hip width distance apart. And when we're ready, we're gonna squat, hold, and then press. Bring it down with control. Everything comes in with control. Nice controlled breathing. Keep that core nice and tight, especially with that overhead press. If you're not feeling comfortable with that overhead press, then just leave those hands where they're at. Good little cardio strength training exercise. Works all kinds of muscle groups. I'm all for efficiency when it comes to working out. Almost there. Rest. Ah, wonderful. Excellent work. That side to side windmill is next. So standing with my feet together, I'm going to step out, pointing my toe over to the right, arms out to a T, and I'm going to windmill. Bring it back together, step out, and windmill. Go. Ready? Step out, windmill. Take care in this move. Good. Make sure you're pointing that toe out and really holding your core in nice and tight. Perfect. I'm holding my weights with my palms facing you. Nice. Perfect. We got about 10 more seconds. You got this. Keep that core tight. We're working that waist. 
Look at those side abs. One more. Rest. And rest. All right, next up is my little boxing move. That chamber kick with that punch. So we're chamber kicking, punching, opposite arm, opposite knee kick. Five more seconds. Let's get ready. Punch it out. Bring that knee in. Nice and tight to the body as we're punching. So as we're punching, I'm rotating my hand so my palm is facing down and I'm extending through my center knuckle. Good, nice high steps. 10 seconds. Keep smiling, keep breathing. This is the last exercise of round one. Good. Rest. Ha! Ah, excellent work. Round one is complete. Go ahead and take a break. Get a drink. Keep your body moving during these breaks. Ah, just take Rest. a little walk side to side. If you want to keep your heart rate a little higher, go ahead and give a little side to side jog. Excellent work. How did everybody do? Yeah? All right, so we have about 20 more seconds in this break. We'll start over at the top with those butt kick punches with or without weight. That's up to you. We got about 10 more seconds. So let's get ready for those butt kicker punches. Keeping my feet moving. All right, ready? Butt kick punches. Oh, these are punch downs, that's right. Punch downs. Good, punch it down. So if this feels weird, then just take it. Same side, same arm that's doing the punching is the same way that's doing the lifting. Whatever you wanna do, as long as your core is tight and you're moving, perfect. Punch it down and snatch that weight back up again. Almost there. Nice. Rest. Nice job. All right. Exercise two. That side tap with those arms. Ah, get your breath. Got about seven more seconds in this little break in between. All right, get ready. So I'm starting with my right foot out. Out to my left. So my chest is nice and proud. My chest is shining up toward the ceiling. My head is pulled up. Almost like I have a balloon hanging from my head. I'm trying to keep my head, my shoulders and my hips all in one place. I'm trying to keep the center of my gravity over that straight foot that's on the floor. Good. 10 more seconds. Keep at it. Keep those arms at shoulder height. Good, pull them up, push them down. Rest. <sighs> Go ahead and those shoulders and roll. That's a worker, that's a burger, man. Ooh. All right, squat and press is next. So I'm gonna take my weight with my palms facing each other in my squat. I'm gonna stand, I'm gonna press overhead, or option is just, just do a squat. Squat. <laughs> I said squat and I squatted it out. Squat and press. So squat, push your heels, squeeze your butt, and press your arms overhead, keeping that squeeze in your butt throughout the entire overhead press. Good. Nice. Press. Working that lower body, even though we're working the upper body as well. Core is tight. Keep all those muscles engaged. Five more seconds. Three, two, Rest. and one. Nice job. Exercise four is that step side to side step windmill. Side step and a windmill move. Bring it back in. Other side. 
All right, get your breath. And get ready. I'll be stepping out to the right. Arms out, step, point that toe, and bring it in. We're over halfway through this workout. Feels good, especially when it's done. All right, take care with this move. Keep your core nice and tight. All right, people, we've got about 10 more seconds. Channel your inner windmill. Up. One more. Rest. Ah. All right. Exercise five. Chamber and a punch. Punch. So it's a chamber kick, like you're kicking somebody in the nose and you're adding a punch with it. All right, this is the last exercise in the second round. Chamber hit punch. So I'm snatching my hand out and I'm pulling it back. Let's get the hair out of my mouth. Nice. Punch. Taking care not to completely straighten out your elbow. Keep a tiny little bit in that elbow. Nice high knees. Almost like you're anticipating a high kick. All right, less than 10 left. In the second round, be a nice long one minute break. Rest. Nice job. All right, put those weights down if you opt to use them. Grab your water. Take a swig. Keep moving. Back and forth and side to side. We got one more rest. Round. One more round. Whew. <clears throat> Keep breathing. All right, bring your legs to stillness. Take a nice deep breath in. Hold it at the top. Exhale it out through your mouth. One more nice deep breath in. And exhale it out. Awesome, let's get ready for this last round. Grab your weights if you choose to, or if you choose not to, that's completely fine. Get ready for those butt kick punch downs. Go. Punch down, butt kick. So either opposite hand, opposite leg, or same hand, same leg. Wherever you're at, just give me all you got. So short little workouts. Big bursts of energy for a shorter amount of time. Good. 10 seconds. Keep smiling, keep breathing. Three, two, and one. Rest. And relax. Second move, those T side steps. Keeping those hips nice and level, facing me. Ah. Is everybody breaking a sweat? All right, let's get ready. So I'm starting on my left this time. So put my weight on my right foot, left foot out. So just to remind you, your chest is up, facing up toward the ceiling. Let your heart shine to the sky. Those hands only go as high as those shoulders, keeping my hips as quiet as I can. Keeping my center of gravity right over that straight leg. Good. Nice. Beautiful. Perfect. All right, 10 more seconds. You got 10 more on this exercise too. These weights are getting heavy. Woo. Rest. Thank you. All right, squat and press is next. With or without weight, as long as you're squatting, this press is optional. The overhead press is optional. Keep your feet moving, get a drink whenever you need it. <sighs> All right, let's get ready. Go. We're gonna squat and we're gonna hold. Squeeze your butt as you are overhead pressing. <sighs> nice. Oh, that wasn't good. 
Let's put those back on and continue. That was for the blooper reel. <laughs> Let's keep these a little bit farther away from my face. How about that? Woo! Nice. 10 seconds. Oh, well, I got about a five second break. <laughs> All right, last one right here. All right, exercise four is that windmill. Put my glasses back where they belong. So I'll be stepping out with my left foot again, bringing my hands over. <sighs> All right, people, get ready. Step it out and bend. Step it out. Take care and caution in this move. I'm more worried about form. My perfect form in this one over speed. If that foot that reaches out to the side is bent, that's fine. Keep that core nice and tight. I want you to concentrate on keeping that core nice and tight. Support your lower back while working out our side abs. Almost there. Rest. All right, last move. This is it, exercise five, round three. Chamber punch, the chamber kick with that punch move. Let's get this. And I will pull you down and I will cut you loose. Get ready, kicking with one leg, punching with the opposite arm. Nice high knees. If you put your mind over your muscle on this one, I want you to think about using your core to lift your knee not necessarily your leg. So send your awareness to your midsection and use that to aid in lifting that knee. Did you get yet? It takes some practice. All right, we got five more seconds in this hit workout. Home stretch, people. Rest. Ah, excellent work. Grab a drink, but just keep moving. Keep it moving back and forth. Whew. Side to side, around in a circle. Now is the time we're starting to cool it down a little bit. Done. So if you opted to do that little jog, now you can, you have permission to slow everything down. Just take some nice deep breaths. As long as you're exhaling through your mouth, that's what we're looking for. In through your mouth or nose, out through your mouth. Good. All right, let's bring our feet to stillness. Plant your feet nice and sturdy. Hands on your hips. Inhale through your mouth or nose. Now hold the breath at the top. Now exhale it all out through your mouth. Again, inhale as much air as your lungs can take. Hold it for a moment. Now exhale it out. Last one, inhale in. Hold it and exhale it out. Perfect work. Take those arms nice and wide. We're taking those thumbs facing to the back of the room, sending my heart to the ceiling. I'm bringing my shoulder blades together and I'm also curving my back slightly backwards. Good. Now we're gonna bring everything in. Little tiny squat down, arms are facing each other, channel your inner tree hugger here. So I'm riding my back, I'm looking down toward my knees. Good. Inhale, stand, let your heart shine. Let those thumbs face backwards. And bring it on in, hug that tree. Go ahead and snuggle in, feel it you feel like you need to. Perfect, drop your hands down to your side. Nice wide feet. Two times the size of your shoulders. Inhale, left hand overhead. Nice stretch right here in that side body. Perfect, go ahead and stand it on up. Now I'm gonna bend over to the right. Get that hip stretch right here. Now I'm gonna bring that hand, tracing the horizon to the other side. 
Perfect. Take that right hand overhead, and we're going to nice stretch it out. Feel that hip stretch. Good. I'm going to stand it up, and I'm going to bend over to the left, and I'm going to trace it around. I'm going to heel toe those feet in. Inhale those arms up. Exhale, bending from those that hip. Bring on down, supporting yourself on your legs, either on your upper thighs or on your mid shins, or if you can reach the floor. I want you to put all your weight into your hands, relax your head, your neck, and your shoulders, and use your head as a counterweight. Perfect. Now go ahead and bend that right leg, keeping that left leg straight. Good. Bring legs back to straight. Now bend that left leg. Keep that right leg straight. Perfect. Bring it back to center. Bend both knees, chin to chest. I want you to roll it up nice and slow, supporting yourself on your knees. Head is the last to come up. When you're completely straight, lift your head towards me. Give your shoulders a roll backwards. Good, and you roll forwards. Good, and drop your hands down to your side. Take those arms in front of them up overhead. Hold those hands down through prayer, heart center. Thank you very much. I do appreciate you joining me for 20 minute hit. Let's get the hair and sweat out of my face. That was fun. I hope you guys come back Monday. We're gonna have more classes starting at 10 a.m. with Sarah's fitness class. And then we'll resume at five with arm day and then 5.30, 20 minute hit. See you guys Monday. Have a great one. Bye.